Welcome to another Real Talk with Lady Diane. Today, I came to tell you to control yourself. I will share with you some tips on how you can control yourself. Because in order to be successful in anything that you are doing, you have to be able to control yourself. The very first thing you have to do to have self-control is to determine what is it that you want to achieve. Whether it's on a personal level, professional, for anything, or relationship, anything that you want to achieve, you take it, you pin it in your mind. Now, you need to visualize the big picture. Don't just think about it, but you need to transport yourself to when you achieve this thing that you want. While you're visualizing it, see, Observe the satisfaction you have when you get to the position where you finally have it. Now, set little goals, little steps that you have to take in order to get there. When you set little step, it will motivate you to get the bigger picture. If you only think of the destination, you will see that it's difficult. So you are more likely to give up. But when you set little goals to get there, you are training yourself and controlling yourself in order to get there. You have to be confident that you can do it. Be confident that you can do anything that you want to. You have to believe deep inside of you that it's possible. Because if you don't believe in it, you will not make any effort to get it. You will need to have willpower in order to avoid temptation. Willpower is a strong determination that will help you achieve anything despite how difficult that thing is. Willpower will help you to be disciplined because controlling yourself comes with discipline. Now I've got two videos on my channel where I talk about discipline and some tips on how to help you be disciplined. You can check those videos out to have more details about discipline and then come back. So when you have willpower, you have a psychological strength to execute anything that you want. Avoiding temptation is to anticipate the type of situation that can slow you down or stop you from getting what you want. And this is something that is very important for you to do at the beginning of your journey into self-control because like anything else when you're first training it's more difficult you are more fragile so from the very beginning you need to avoid any type of situation that you know can either slow you down or stop you from achieving what you want if you want to lose weight you need to watch what you're eating you need to ask yourself the why and how because while you're doing what you're doing while you're working on yourself while you're working on your business while you're working on your relationship you will get time where you know you become shaky it's like when you're exercising your legs will start to shake so when you get to the position where you feel like you're getting tired asking yourself the why and how will take you to one of your first step which was visualizing what you want to achieve it will be your motivation to keep going. So when you ask yourself your why, you're actually reconnecting with your final vision. And when you ask yourself how, you actually go back to your to-do list, the little step, the goals that you have to do in order to get to your final destination, what you want. You also need to take time out, relax, reconnect. Taking a break doesn't mean that you're giving up. Sometimes you need to stop for a minute in order to run longer. When you feel like you're out of control of any type of situation, you need to actually stop. It will help you to learn how to manage your stress. You need to meditate, breathe, take all the goods in, all the bads out. You have to forgive yourself for your mistakes. This is how you are in control. You're not fighting against yourself, but you are with yourself for yourself. So if you make mistakes, it's okay. Forgive yourself, learn from them, and keep going you also need to check in with your progress it will first of all help you to remain focused but also encourage you to keep going it will allow you to understand that you are in control you are in charge notice every step notice every little achievement checking with yourself will also 
help you to understand your behavior because you're taking time to notice and comment and give yourself advice. You will understand your behavior and your feelings. It will also help you to change any bad habit. It will make your bad habit less difficult to change. The last point, last but not least, is to keep on practicing. Whenever I do a talk where I'm giving out some tips, some advice, I like to finish with my last point, which is keep on practicing everything that we talk about. Because it's not going to happen overnight. You will get to where you want to be. You will have what you want to have with patience, with time and dedication. People who have little or no self-control are more likely to have little willpower, little self-discipline, being unable to reach goals, difficulty controlling their feelings and emotions, and may be attracted to a dangerous lifestyle. Self-control, like I said, when I started this talk, it's something that you really need for anything you want to achieve. On a personal level or professional, any type of situation in which you are, in order to manage and come through as the winner, you need to have self-control. I am coming now to the end of my little talk. As usual, it was a pleasure for me to share this moment with you. Do not hesitate to connect with me through the comments. I appreciate every single comment. Thank you for being on Team Lady D. I will see you in another We'll Talk with Lady Diane. Until then, I got all you need to say.